Hi folks, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very, very empty bedroom. Still renovating. I have to replace every single light fixture in my house. Light fixtures can be expensive. That's where this video sort of comes into play. I was scrolling through Pinterest, as I do, and I came across two amazing light fixtures. The first one is from Whirly's Lighting. It is called the Tucker Semi Flush Mount, and it retails for $409 US dollars, which is a whopping $537 for a light. Oh. The second light I saw was slightly more affordable. It's from Cedar and Moss, and it retails Retails for $189 US, which is a whopping $248 Canadian. Now, I really like this light fixture. I just think that the sizing was not right for what I wanted it to be because I wanted it to be the main light in a room and this is sort of what it looks like in other rooms I just thought it wasn't really that big and on the website I was actually unable to select that peach color so when I saw I couldn't get that peach color it really got the DIY wheels rolling in my brain and was like could I DIY this. So I first took to Ikea and I found this. It's like a little little kit, lighting kit I guess you would call it. It's called Second. So you get like a cord set and it didn't really matter that the cord was red because I was gonna hide that anyways. I thought that top part could kind of be like the top part of our light and we could kind of make that work. And all I think like last week, this light was on sale for $2.99. So I ordered this, got it for $2.99. It's not on sale anymore. I'm sorry. So for the bottom half of this light, I'm thinking that we can go to the thrift store and maybe we can thrift like a bowl or like a porcelain bowl or like a plastic bowl or a wooden bowl and then we can just like drill a hole with a hole saw in it to turn it into like the other part of the light fixture. You know what I'm saying? I know there is this technique that was made popular on Instagram by Geneva Vanderzeel. I hope I'm saying her name right. Basically where you put baking powder into a paint and it ends up making whatever you paint look like pottery. It gives it that like textured um, matte sort of look. So I know that whatever we buy, we can kind of make look really cool and really expensive. I'm gonna bring that Ikea light with me and then hopefully we can find something that matches up well with it. So I'm bringing this with me. And we're going to try to find something to go on like the other half of it. These are like already a cool like clay color and I like the design. But I think the shape is a bit outdated. Okay, so what I got was the following it's a plastic bowl but what I'm gonna do is first of all I'm gonna paint it and second of all um, the light fixture thing that we have allows the light bulb to not sit against the plastic and then I'm also going to get an LED light bulb that doesn't emit any heat so I am going to paint this maybe like a very light terracotta maybe like a pinky terracotta I don't really know going to look something like that but all be the same color and then I kind of liked that this bowl has like a lip on it kind of makes it seem more like a light fixture and less like um, a bowl okay quick change of plans I went and bought the bigger version they had like a bunch of different sizes the yellow one was looking a little bit uh, small for the space so I ended up getting this one, it's the exact same thing, has a lid. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna need a hole saw kit. This one has a ton of different sizes in it because we're going to be cutting a hole in the top of this. Marking off the center. That's the center, it's pretty easy to tell because they have it marked off already, but just making it bigger so I can see it. We want the bowl to sit here without going over this lip. If it sits on here, we can then use this, which is used for a lampshade, and then we can just like tighten the bowl into place. So your whole saw kit will come with something that looks like this. Take it, screw it on. Here's your drill. Put it inside the drill, tighten the drill. So you wanna line up this, this is your pilot hole. This is what's gonna keep it from moving. And you're gonna put it on the center where that dot is. And you're gonna start drilling. It will fall in place. And then that's how you get your hole. So the pilot hole is in. Now it's going to start, start actually cutting the hole. Okay. 
There's our hole. Now I'd also like it if it fit through like this and act as a way to hold the two together. So that means we need to screw or this as a bigger hole as well. I'm gonna drill the pilot hole into the piece of wood. I can sort of move this to make sure it's centered, hold it tight and drill through it. Okay, let me give you a quick little rundown of what's going to happen here. So I have this, which I ended up cutting. It did crack a little bit, which I was kind of bummed about. You can see here, there's like a bit of a crack but it's fine. I kind of had to use scissors around the edge. It was really hard to do with the whole saw, but I made it work. So now that we have a hole, I would just suggest like, honestly, I stuck scissors in there and I like cut around it, whatever you can kind of make work. And then this is gonna go on this side of it. So they both stick through. And then this is going to screw onto here. And then we're gonna have basically the shape that we really want. So what we're gonna do to make this look like it's porcelain, ceramic, um, like a, a pot, a piece of pottery, is we're going to do a painting technique. I'm gonna put some orange paint, some white, and a little bit of brown. So I feel like we need some red. Okay, so this is sort of the shade we're going for. So now what you're gonna do to make this look matte and textured is you're gonna add baking powder to it. So this is a tutorial that I saw on Instagram. I'm gonna link the tutorial in the blog post. I'm just gonna mix that in. Now I think that this is going to take two coats, if not more than that. So let me show you the plan here. So this was the light fixture that was up, very old. So typically when you take a light fixture down, minus these gold brackets, cause I just put these up, you're left with this. This is like a little bracket for helping to hang your new light fixture. Then you have your white wire, your black wire. So I have just gone ahead and bought some of these little brackets and I've just attached them to this other bracket cause this is what's gonna help hold it onto the wall. So I'm just using, little brackets that I brought from the hardware store. I've actually bent them in a little bit. So this is what the bracket looks like. I wasn't looking for anything specific when I went to the hardware store. I just wanted something with a hole. This is actually too big. I could have used something smaller, but this is all they had. So in the original light fixture that we bought, this is supposed to sit right flush to the wall. And then there's this like little cord that comes down and then your light fixture. Because we want this to sit next to our light fixture, we actually have to DIY our own bracket to hang it to the ceiling. So. I just have this bracket here and I'm just going to put it on the back and we need to make a hole so that we have a way for this to stay attached to the ceiling. So I've just gone ahead and marked off our hole right there. So now we have to drill that out. Starting with a really small drill bit and that's just because I don't wanna crack the plastic. So I'm gonna go up in very small intervals just to make sure we aren't going to be cracking it. So lining it up with the hole and okay so we have our two holes now that's the bottom that's the top we're gonna stick this through both flip it upside down attach the lampshade piece now we are going to attach this to the light so now that it is all connected i'm just going to take this excess wire wrap it around there and hold this up to the hole. So here is the final result. It looks really amazing. I'm so happy with this. It looks expensive. It looks great. This is what it looks like on. I didn't really know how to show you that because obviously the light goes kind of crazy when it's on, but it does light up the whole room, which is kind of something I was worried about. I love the way this looks. If any of you guys decide to recreate this, please, please, please tag me on Instagram. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.